to, to be successful for a long time, you really have to like what you do. I would not, not be there without her. I know what it takes, how much work it takes yeah. to actually get yourself in shape and to be in this position. To live in Switzerland, you have to at least be top 10 to have a life after. Don't have any regrets. Martina, thanks for having us today. Thank you. Um, sorry, I won't introduce all your titles because uh, uh, there's so many of them, not enough time for one program. <laughs> but um, by the way, do you still count and remember all of them? Well, I was just uh, surely remember because the last one in doubles was the 60th. Yeah. So <laughs> well in done. a way, in a way, I feel you know, 60. If you would say like, okay, 60 years old, you know, it's like. <laughs> but I feel sometimes like, okay, I'm still a spring chicken on the court. And that's how I feel in doubles when we're doing well. But on a way, like being 36 years old, it's more of a, you know, grandmother <gasps> on the court. <laughs> I think I just still have the passion for the game. I love the challenge. I love not always chasing the little ball, but yeah. I rather have the other players chase down the ball for me. But uh, no, I think it's uh, you have to to be successful for a long time. You really have to like what you do, and I think that's definitely the biggest key to success. But how you were able to save the hunger, you know, for the game? Well, I had a couple breaks. You know, I had three years and six years that I wasn't doing as much traveling yeah, and we're the tennis. Talk about that. Yeah, because I mean, it's not even the tennis that I miss. It's the traveling I didn't like so much. I think it was just sometimes really nice to be home and not having the constant pressure of having to win matches and yeah. having the success. When you, especially when you have been number one, you're always like, that's the highest goal. I mean, every time you lose, you're like, oh, that's disappointing. But uh, I think to sometimes put that pressure away and to find that new hunger in, with the game, it's, uh, it's challenging. But that's why I admire players, you know, like Roger Federer. I mean, why is he still playing after having won know. so many titles or Serena Williams? The same yeah, question true. you could ask them, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy being a coach? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, you had obviously great moments when you win and then yeah. you have the lows when you lose. But I think the players that I helped out uh, most of the time, they were successful. So yeah, I, that's what that's, I'm saying. Like you enjoyed that. She was playing really she good. She did really well. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, uh, she won the tournament during that time. She won the doubles as well. Yeah. And uh, um, I always uh, maintain a great relationship with her. So it's um, no, definitely we had great moments. Yeah. <laughs> is it a privilege to be a pro tennis player or more of a sacrifice? I think if you consider yourself compared to other people, in my, I would never want to change. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I had, don't have any regrets. We, I don't think you should have because, yeah, you make mistakes. You try to learn and try to get better. But I think we're very fortunate to have a life that we have, to be able to travel, to make friends around the world, to to earn the money we do, I think uh, it's amazing the, the life that we are able to live, yeah. Uh, if you had a chance to start all over again, knowing the price of success, would you go for, for another circle? If I would all do all of this again? Yeah. Yes, of course. I mean, I, I would try to even do things better than I did in my yeah. previous time. <laughs> <laughs> what no. would you change? Well, I think probably to if I could, might maybe pl replay a couple of those matches. Yeah, especially the '99 French Open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just not get too excited about the crowd, which yeah. I didn't understand at that time. And you're 17, 18, and you're like, what the? Heck? <laughs> but um, and yeah, maybe one of the Australian Opens that I lost from match point as well. But okay, things like this. That's the drama of tennis. Yeah. But um, today I can laugh about it. <laughs> My last question. Any recommendations from Martina Hingis to young players and their parents? Maybe especially for parents. Parents you know, more. Than <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the just always um, believe that actually you can do it that, and, and enjoy what you do. I think that's the biggest secret. I mean, even in the days you have to go to school, you don't enjoy, but try to do the maximum out of it. And um, yeah, the, it, it will eventually it will happen. It, you have to earn your luck. I mean, you have to keep trying to work on it and it will come. I always believe in that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and good luck this week and the second week. Thank you, hopefully. <laughs>